hello guys uh, today we are going to discuss about a very important topic in the pathology that is the c reactive protein so we are now going to know about this what is the c reactive protein and why this is very important for us to know so let us start so c reactive protein is basically a acute phase protein it is having a structure that is annular structure that is a ring shaped and it is discoid also disc like it is basically found in the plasma during any inflammatory conditions so now let us know about the structure of this protein so basically uh, it belongs to a family of the protein known as small pantraxins family and it has five monomeric units and is structure thus it is a pentameric protein basically and it has 224 amino acids in one molecule of this it is synthesized mainly by the liver in our body in the liver there are hepatocytes which synthesize this C reactive protein another point which may I include here that is the uh, it is often confused with C peptide or protein C but it is not related with these two things c peptide is related with insulin and it is related protein c it is related with the blood coagulation not related with the c reactive protein they are not related so keep that in mind so now uh, let's talk about some of the history and the nomenclature of the C reactive protein why this is called as C reactive protein so it was first discovered by the two scientists they are Tillet and Francis in the year 1930 so it is a fact that it was first protein to be identified that is a pattern recognition receptor it is the first pattern recognition receptor to be discovered at first it was thought that this C reactive protein is a pathogenic secretion but later on it was revealed that it is a native protein instead so now why this protein is called as C reactive protein so let us know about it it was found in the serum of a patient which reacts with the somatic C carbohydrate antigen C carbohydrate antigen of pneumococcus or that is also known as streptococcus 
pneumonia so that is why as it reacts with the c carbohydrate antigen of the pneumococcus thus it is known as c reactive protein this is how the nomenclature was given first so as all of us as all we know that every protein has their genetic basis so it the c reactive protein also has its gene that is known as crp gene it is located on the first chromosome in the human genome so now let us know about the mechanism of action of this c reactive protein so first of all there are some conditions in which these c reactive proteins uh, can be found so inflammatory conditions basically uh, like viral bacterial and fungal infections then tissue injury malignancy that is cancer and also necrosis these are the conditions which basically stimulates the secretion of the interleukin 6 from these two places they are the macrophages and the adipose tissue cells they secrete interleukin 6 and other cytokines like interleukin 1 8 dnf alpha like them so in the blood circulation these interleukin 6 goes to the liver where this interleukin 6 stimulates the hepatocytes to synthesize the C reactive protein so this is the C reactive protein molecule and this C reactive proteins they are released into the blood again and from there they go to the site of the infection here these are the bacteria, pneumococcus like bacteria. so they go there they basically bind with the phospho tidal choline basically sorry basically it is lyso phosphatidyl choline in the membrane of these bacteria and through the process of opsonization they activate the complement system this complement system attracts these macrophages and they go and engulf the bacteria that is the phagocytose them and kills them so this is how the c-reactive proteins acts in the process of infection and the immunity so uh, so basically we can say that this c-reactive protein helps us to clear up the necrotic and sorry apoptic materials from the body so now uh, what is the 
clinical significance of the CRP at first you have to know uh, that if there is any inflammation in the body the CRP level rises within two hours of time and its half time in a circulation is around 18 hours so basically plasma CRP level is used for marker as sorry uh, <laughs> it is extremely sorry um, the plasma CRP level is used as marker for any inflammatory condition at first there are several factors which can affect the CRP production in the liver now, one of the factors is liver malfunction or liver failure and another cause might be that is very important cause that is interferon alpha which interferes with the production of CRP by the liver interferon alpha is found in viral infections so this is why CRP is a very important compound in our body to be assessed to differentiate between viral infections and bacterial infections so here we can discuss that in bacterial infections the CRP level is much more higher than in the viral infections so in viral infections it might be around 40 milligrams per liter and in case of bacterial infections it might be around 40 to 200 milligram per liter so we can see here that there is a huge difference in the bacterial infection so this is used for differentiating between viral infections and bacterial infection the normal value of CRP in a healthy person's serum is around 5 to 10 milligram per liter and there are several factors which cause increase in the level of CRP there are physiological causes and pathological causes also so let us discuss about this there are some physiological causes and there are some pathological causes also so let us discuss about the physiological causes first uh, first is age in elderly people the CRP level is increased that means with age the CRP level in the plasma increases and in case of late pregnancy also we can see elevated CRP level so next is the pathological causes in which uh, the CRP level is increased so let us see about uh, what are the pathological causes here the main pathological causes as we all know that is the infection or inflammation that is infection may be due to any viral or fungal or bacterial and there are certain other diseases in which the oh, there is another condition I'm sorry that is uh, in case of burns the level of CRP may just increase above the 200 milligram per liter also this is another pathological condition so there are some research studies they suggest some effects of CRP so basically higher CRP levels are associated with colon cancer it is seen that 
then uh, those person who are having more crp level in the plasma that is the average crp level uh, they are more prone to the colon cancer and also um, they are more prone to the diabetes hypertension and various cardiovascular diseases and it is seen in the research that they are also associated with coronary heart diseases uh, when there are when there is the CRP level is more than 2.4 milligram per liter average there is double factor double risk factor for coronary heart disease then in the 1 milligram per liter level that means there is more higher level of risk factor in case of increased CRP level in average and in another condition that is known as obstructive sleep apnea in this condition the interleukin 6 is increased thus the CRP level is also increased so this is all about the C reactive protein and it is also known that uh, it is also can be said that um, in case of rheumatoid arthritis it is also used as a diagnostic and prognostic uh, measurement of CRP level so this is also to be included and this is all about the C-reactive protein here and thank you for watching guys so please subscribe to our youtube channel and please like our videos and share if you like this and like us on FB also uh, email, you can email us your comments or suggestions or comment below the video thank you guys see you all